It actually looked like a pretty fun battle. I mean, everything was hectic, but it seemed to be like a controllable hectic kind of feel. Yeah. So it wasn't overly abundantly just dumb. Yeah. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going to drop off more of the stuff because this is where I make the final stuff for synthesis because now I have enough of the lost illusions that I need to make a manufactured illusion in order to be able to make some of the last items. There we go. That's a manufactured illusion. So now let's go and turn that in. I hate that you have to go in and out of it. That's the only thing I hate about the synthesis. It can but, be streamlined a bit more, so yeah. Yeah. So here is the last item for synthesis in the game. A fancy earring. And there you go. Is that it, really? Yep. That oh. It uh, gives you more AP and more attack. I actually have one of them equipped right now. How much AP can, do you even need, man? Uh, I have enough to where I could equip every single ability. Oh. But the other reason is because it gives me an MP haste ability with this new one. Ah. But if we check the journal, we go to the Jiminy one. Synthesis is fully complete, which means I have obtained level 9. I have turned in all 60 items. I have made all 54 items. And I am still missing one chest. Wow. That one chest is unlocked once you beat all the data battles. At this point, I'm just showing off everything that's been done. So as you can see, the only things that are left, because this was some of the last stuff I had done in the game, yeah, is the data battles and the lingering will enigmatic soldier fight. So we're Gosh, also... Is Jimny with you this entire time? Yes, actually. He is in Sora's hood. I feel sorry for the guy. I do too. I mean, all the shit that Sora goes through, and he's just hanging on for dear life, praying that he doesn't just get just get ended by, I don't know, giant, heartless, bleeding nobodies coming out everywhere. He's fighting basically digitalized of the final organization, oh. and he's just a cricket who's oh, just trying oh, to do oh, a oh, journaling you're... job. Not to mention, he's writing shit down while you're oh. doing this. <laughs> he's... <laughs> the man is talented. Like, no, Sora looks at like a notebook. She's like, it looks nothing but like intelligible scribbles. Like, Jiminy, what's wrong? Oh, what's wrong? Do you see the shit I've been through? But now that we've beaten number five, we've gotten the last four organization members. So now we're going to go to number four, Vexen. Another absent silhouette fight that was originally inside Chain of Memories. This one is the only one from the uh, basement organization members because there were six that were inside Castle Oblivion. That actually met Sora. So are we, are we on this guy's lawn? Um, for all we know, we probably are. <laughs> he just pops in. Kid, get off my lawn, please. I just mowed it. He right. looks like really annoyed too. I like I like the laugh he has. It's a lot better than his Japanese than the uh, Rechain of Memories one on the Game Boy. What's, so what's his laugh? Um, you'll hear it. Oh, it's more like a <laughs> like a, a maniacally evil scientist one. Oh, okay. Now, the thing about uh, this battle, you might notice a little circle that's below me. That's I'm what it, more about the data. Yep, that's what the data does. He summons anti-form Sora, the higher the data is. Oh. That's the hard part about this fight. The other part is that his shield, his weapon is a shield. So you have to beat the shield first before you can start beating him up. A frozen pride, actually. Yep. Uh, fun fact, also, there is a, uh, since this is perfectly playable on PC, it, SX2 actually, Final Mix in particular. Uh, somebody made a mod for Master Form called, uh, I believe it is Dark Warrior. It's basically Sora's anti form, and he has Vexen's shield as it, and you can actually use the shield. And it's a skin over Master Form. That's weird. It actually looks pretty cool. I, I will admit, and it functions pretty well. And the shield can actually damage people, so they had to program that in. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna see this guy, uh, be like retooled over Goofy. I just, um, have, I just see him do the Goofy rocket. This would be the greatest thing. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm imagining it now. <laughs> okay, that would actually be great. I can give Goofy this shield actually. Really? Yeah, in Final Mix it was added in a recipe when you fight uh, Vexen as an absent silhouette, you will get uh, the recipe to make a shield. Uh, the one I have on right now though is. Um, uh, I have Save the King Plus, which is one of Goofy's best shields, so... Yeah. But here's his ultimate attack, to where he will summon glaciers at you. Uh, this is actually... All the ultimate attacks that are actually uh, from the Absent Silhouette fights, uh, for the ones that I've said are, uh, they're actually uh, slays 
that were used inside of Reach Hannah Memories for their ultimate attacks. So they made sure to carry that over. Because Reach Hannah Memories actually was um, bundled with Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Oh, really? Yeah, it was originally bundled with it. So it uses assets from it. Uh, and another interesting fact that I found out, if you beat Rechain of Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus, you unlock the option to turn on Japanese dialogue for uh, Final Mix. That's cool. Yep. It's and nice when games do that. Yep. Like, they give you the extra option. That some people don't like the English voice acting or English or anything. They just turn on Japanese. Yeah, you just sort of have to beat both games, but... Huh? You have to beat both games, but... Well, it's eh. for like, oh, that bit's kind of iffy, really. It's kind of for those people who, like really, really want to play through the game in Japanese. More or less, yeah. And I... Well, this was a Japanese exclusive, which a lot of people were pissed off about because it introduces plot elements and everything, but is exclusive to Japan. So this whole game is kind of, This whole game series kind of, like, splits off its very important plot elements into different things where some are more accessible to others. Yeah. At least uh, 1.5 and 2.5 bridge them all together on one system gearing up everyone for like when 3 comes out in whatever year, this because year, next you, year. Because you need to actually look through all that stuff to find out what the fuck's going on in 3. That's yeah. the sad part. And I found out apparently uh, the browser game might be considered canon. What what browser game? The Japanese exclusive browser game Kingdom Hearts Chi. I, that's not fair at all. Yes, I know. What What's canon about it? Uh, Keyblade War, long story short. I'll go what more you long it. story? It, you just show a cl uh, something important about the Keyblade War, something that's kind of been alluded to everywhere in a browser game. Believe me. That's, that's an MMO right there, right there. I know. But, either way, that beats Vexen. That was a nice shield toss, by the way. It was, actually. I thought you had tossed it away. And you get a Lost Illusion. They are completely useless to me now. <laughs> okay, then. So, now we're on to the final three. Xemnas, Zigba, and Zaldin. So, let's start with Zaldin. Now, Zaldin has a new buff for him. That makes this battle a little bit longer than it should be. Do you want to guess what that buff is? He has more spears. Uh, no. Because he has like six right now. I don't think he needs like more than one. Well, the fact that he's able to hold three of them in one is amazing. The difference is... He has a constant arrow shield around him. You cannot attack him head on all the time. Yep. See that shield so, around? Oh, oh. That will damage you. So what you have to do is use the jump ability. It will stun him. And here's where I think I'm going to have to edit this out again. Let's see how long this one lasts. I like how this guy is like the only guy with a normal name, Dylan. Yep. All of them. Well, no, Evan. Evan? That's Vexen's name. It's Even. No, it's Evan. Even. It's pronounced Evan. His name is Even. <laughs> Which is funny because he's the Even Number Organization member, number four. Wow. He is, actually. Okay. Yep. So you're. So then you're, I assume you're reading up on the whole thing with the X thing. Yeah. I'm oh, honest, no, I'm just honestly just looking at the page of Organization 13, just looking at the names. This guy is actually nicknamed the Whirlwind Lancer, and his attribute is wind, and his six lances are called the Lindstorm. Whatever the hell that means. Did you say Lindstorm? His, oh, his, shit! <laughs> it is Lind... No, I'm sorry. Lindworm. Oh, okay. What does that mean? It is forever known as the Lindstorm now. Lindstorm. <laughs> yes, that is what it is. So pretty much, the hard part about this battle more is that... <sighs> You have to use jump a lot, so build it up, honestly, and then combo him. Because he, because of the shield all as well, he is one of the bosses that started using the more you do damage, the more damage you do. Oops, more times you hit him, I should say. Now that's Question. Yes. Um, how do the lances... Do, does he have multiple lances? Yes. Like in terms of different... Um, you're looking at, uh, 3, 5, 8 over 2 days weapons. Uh, okay, I was about to say, like, he has, like, a lot of lances. One of which is a broomstick. Yes, uh, everyone has a joke weapon. In 3, 5, 8 over 2 days, when I do that one, uh, there, you, there's a mission mode where you can play as the other organization members if you want. Yeah. And everyone has a joke weapon. For example, Demix has a tennis rifle. Mm. Um, I think Axel has frisbees. That's um, amazing. I'm trying to remember, I think Roxas's is a struggle club. 
Um, I think that Syax's, I want to say, is... I think his might be a broom as well. But that, that's something for another Kingdom Hearts game. Keep in mind, Travis, we're in number two. None of this, mm. none of that plot stuff existed yet. None oh, of those. Sorry. Spoiler alert, guys. None of those retcons existed yet. My God, there's so much in Kingdom Hearts 2 that's being retconned at this point. It's not so funny. All right, and here is his ultimate attack. Not really that deadly. I'm about to say, he's just kind of... Ooh, that looks cool. That looks cool, actually. Yeah, it's, it's like a giant dragon that he summons. Yeah. This is where having dodge roll level 3 is perfect, because you Oh, can, it's a Hydra. You can dodge roll right through it and avoid all the damage. That does a lot of damage, though, if you get caught in there, so watch out. I imagine so. He kind of just decimated Goofy. Well, Donald and Goofy are really weak as well. <laughs> I feel so sorry for them. They're just here just doing their best, trying to save the king. And then Sora's here, and you're like, just being Sora. Well, it's because, like, what you can end up doing is you can give the power-ups, the AP-ups and everything to, like, Donald and Goofy. Never do that. Give it all to Sora. Yeah, because you are the co you're the only competent person in this team of three. Donald does whatever Donald does. Goofy is, well, you know, he is kind of the name. You're the only competent person who actually knows, like, how to play the game, so... Give to every everything to the main character that you play as is probably the best bet. Not to mention the fact that, you know, if they die, they can come back. Because there's an ability in this game uh, called Hyper Healing. What it does is it restores a large amount of health and magic to them after a short time. So they can be revived throughout the battle. I can't. So, yeah. Don't give them any of those power-ups. Unless you have, like... Extra? Way too many to spare. <laughs> like you have now, actually. Uh, no, even then, I've still not fought the Enigmatic Soldier. This this should still go into Sora. Oh, true, true, true. So, I, you can you can go back to these as many times as you want and do it, I suppose, and cap them off. If you want to see Donald and Goofy wreck the Organization 13, then give everything to them. If you want to survive the game and actually get to where you can see the rest of Organization 13, don't! <laughs> <laughs> That's the... <laughs> That's if you want to do it the fun way, or if you want to do it Eric's way. It's your choice. Well, no, even then, I would say, well, you can do a level one run, but then again, no. Like, how does that work? Uh, in can you even do that? Yes. Uh, critical mode adds in an ability called EXP Zero, so you, you can do level one runs. Oh. Um, That's all horrible. It's actually a lot of fun. I've done one on 1.5 before. Like, do you, how does that work exactly? Like, do you not have any, don't, you don't have the, any, any of the extra skills, right? Uh, you will start off with a few abilities to make your life easier, and what they do is 1.5 started adding this in, and it carried over into 2.5 as well. When you're playing on critical mode, instead of doing, like, times one damage, like how it normally is, normal damage, uh, you do 1.25 damage. Uh, so, okay. so you get a damage boost. Okay, that's good. It's yeah. not just you no know, level one run. You get like extra stuff, so you're not just kind of a worm just getting stepped on here and there. Well, there are also other battles to where like it'll increase your strength and your health and everything. So... Okay, so it tailors it to whatever you're doing at the moment. Yeah, that's good. That's good. More or less. And boom! I killed him with his own jump ability. And that takes care of Zaldin. That's what you get for using six spears, greedy. Fun fact, he only has one in his original form. But well. we'll see that in a later Kingdom Hearts game. And for your reward for beating him, you get another guard up. Honestly, Cyax is easier to farm for those. Cyax is way easier. Yeah. But Cyax is just easy. Just time consuming. Yeah. But give that to me. And now on to Sigba. But first, I'm realizing I need my shot. I need Thunder back. Oh, right. Now I remember why I put on Thunder. I put on Thunder because Zigbar. This is the sniper. Yes. Okay. You remember him? Yes. I love him. I love his character personality. He is probably my favorite character because he has the most personality. I like how his name, his actual name is Bragg. I, I know. I love it. Really well, Bragg, actually. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm considering Bragg. Well, then again, you're the same person who considers Evan even. You know what, Eric? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the dictionary. Same word. Just saying. I'm going based on the actual pronunciations in the game, because I'm currently playing um, 
final mix for Birth by Sleep, which is where Break first appeared. Eric, I literally knew no one in the Naruto universe. I gave everyone nicknames. I still don't know the names of like half the people I gave nicknames to. You think I care how people's names are pronounced? <laughs> no, that's what X in this game. There's actually an entire reason behind that too. Because they are like it's a mark, isn't it? Like yeah, like, yeah. You, it, it's explained later. So does that mean like uh, big main bad guy Mark Sword is what? Oh uh, no! <laughs> There's oh. one there! Oh no! Oh god! You've just you've deconstructed the, deconstructed this plan before Dream Drop Distance even came out! Kingdom Hearts is your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, is that what Kingdom Hearts is? I thought it was the door to light! I didn't realize it was my ass! There's your plot fanfiction, kids, have at it. Okay, Eric, how the hell is the free shooter work? Alright, so pretty much what um Zigbar will end up doing. He teleports a lot, as you can see. Which is yeah. why I equipped Thundaga, because then I could hit him from afar. I probably should have equipped Shotgun Ice. But what he does is he will go into like these other different lore formats. What you have to do is you have to do finishing combos on him in order to do that. And here's his ultimate move, where he basically does dancing. He is going nuts with this sniper shit. You know, Eric, I don't think snipers work like machine guns. Um... They're supposed to be one-shot kind of things. Uh, I understand right manipulating space and stuff, but I mean, it's not really a sniper at this point, is it? Uh, like he can combine the arrow. He can combine the arrow guns together to form a sniper. Oh, okay. Th that's how it works. Wait, so he has multiple guns? Uh, oh, just one no, gun. No, they combine together. What does that mean? The, the, the two that he's holding right now combine. Oh, okay, okay. They combine into one sniper, which he actually does in this battle. Oh. Apparently, the arrow guns are called sharpshooters, which is not very original name. Nope. Not great. I like the lick one better. Ah, great. He's doing this again. It's funny because every time he does this, he goes, I got a dance for you. I don't like this dance. <laughs> it hurts me. <laughs> it hurts me a lot. Now, what I'm doing right here, don't do what I'm... Uh, no, this is where I realize it. Don't dodge roll through this. Just run. Just run in a circle like this and you'll be fine. All right. There we go. So I'm actually doing a lot better on this boss battle than I normally do. In my original file, uh, this one took me a long time to beat, actually. Oh, because really? of the constant teleporting. Oh, okay. That's what makes him a little bit difficult, I think. Because he's just warping everywhere? More or less. And I mean, it is his thing. He can warp. He just kind of have the element of space, which is actually called attributes, not elements. Oh, okay. And here's the sniper. See? Now, that's added in for the data battle. In the um, actual one, he only does one shot. I was about to say, like, it's still not a sniper, Eric. It's still a machine gun with a scope. That, that's the data battle difference. He yeah. fires a lot faster, is the thing. He, he's a lot more hectic, too, when he's doing the big charge-up on his arrow guns. Uh, what you can do, which hasn't been actually successful for me, uh, one thing you can actually do is uh, you can stun him if you hit enough back at him, but surprisingly, he's not being stunned. But let's end him off once he stops shooting me. Shoot him in the other eye. <laughs> oh, no. He only had one of those. <laughs> <laughs> that actually gets explained in uh, Birth by Sleep why he only has one eye. Didn't he, like, You'll see. beard guy, like, You'll see. Can I, can I say? No. Okay. Because I'm going to be doing Birth by Sleep. He fell, no. on a, he fell on a table corner and got his eye off. It's not very special, actually. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of actually kind of embarrassing. Yeah, he, he doesn't like talking about it. He used to wear glasses. Yeah, he did. But there we go. That defeats Zigbar. I was actually rather surprised at how easy that one went for me, because normally that one goes a lot harder for me. If only because he, um, when he does the big charge-up attack when he's on the ground, he sometimes chains that like three times in a row. Really? Yes. But for beating Zigbar, you get another guard up. I guess he's okay to farm for. Sax is still the best.